Hey everybody, I am back. Welcome back. Welcome to me, welcome to you, welcome to Graven, the game I am about to play. Uh, disclosure, I did also get this game uh, for free out of my association with a good old game store. If you use the good old games command, you can get a tracking link to the game if it seems like the kind of thing you want to buy. But there you go. I've disclosed. Welcome to Graven. It is a game in early access made by the same developers that made Ghost Runner. And I actually just had this list up because I was kind of refreshing myself. Yeah, from Slipgate Ironworks, previously Interceptor Entertainment. Uh, made Rise the Rise of the Triad kind of reboot in 2013. Bombshell. Uh, Ghost Runner. Uh, they're doing Sin Reloaded. Just sick. I don't think that... Is that out? Did that come out? I guess that did come out. Uh, Greylark, hey. Hello and welcome. I did have a good meal, actually. The the burrito bowl took, like, like two hours to get here. But the, um, salon, or sorry, the cauliflower rice was not as mushy as it normally is. It actually had a nearly rice-like texture this time. Is this a roguelite? I think so. It is an, it is an, uh, procedural action RPG that has been, I guess, I guess Hexen 2? is the uh, the game that is, is sort of the spiritual attunement of this one. When playing Graven, your inventory and finished quests are always saved. At the start of each play session, you will always start at the hub town, ready to start your next journey. <laughs> I was gonna skip that word for some reason. Graven also utilizes respawn points placed throughout the world. Hitting a respawn point serves as a checkpoint during your active session. Enjoy! Graven. Yes! 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 Man! Every game needs to say its own name as soon as you start it, with a cool voice. Arr! Arr! I'm amped up right now. Among pious men, our priest of the orthogonal order humbly walks the parallel path, following the creator through service. Father to an adopted daughter, as fate would have it, he cherished her, and they shared a love of both love Oh, hey, John, you're in the house? Charity. Hello. But not all walks are parallel. Did you finish Resident Evil 4? I didn't have a chance another, to check. Not a creator, These motherfuckers make Ghost Runner 2020? Oh, yes. And their transgressions lay According to Wikipedia. Upon the world. I don't think this game's gonna be like Ghost Runner, though. It's fear. Even the humble heart feels wrath and righteous anger, giving birth to unknown strength. Are oh, the games slow at the start? Okay. Blood That's good to know. Heretic, the blood of a fellow priest without being able to see how once more he is tried and found guilty. What divides contrition and shame? Acceptance. These are pretty immaculate vibes so far. Succumbing to the burning sand. Mathematically accurate vibes. Not over the price. Kind of reminds me of like a Diablo intro. He closes his eyes one last time. Just an incredible voice Prayer telling you a tale of woe and suffering. For peace. It's like you will have to earn Blizzard Gothic. Your peace. Time to grave. Oh yeah, so one thing that's interesting is this game has a 3D FX mode. Sick! It even, <laughs> it even has a logo! Okay, oh I, it's like, uh, okay, so it's like, it's like 16-bit color depth, I guess. And then it turns off a lot of the, like, lighting features and stuff. I guess if you played it in, uh, in hyper-low res, it would probably look way more accurate, too. Let's try this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a lot of faith in this game. I can just ratchet it on down, and, and it'll it'll be okay. Oh, it's not gonna. Okay, it's not gonna go down to like 320 by 240 or something. I think like maybe 800 by 600 might be about right for this game. All right, never mind then. Heard a joke you might enjoy. You want to hear it? Yes, I do want to hear it. I enjoy jokes. Are you telling jokes? Where does a mansplainer get his water? From a well, actually. Nice! 
Now that's that quality joke. Solid joke. Oh, it starts on a starts on a train. Yes. This is very definitely a post Half Life game. Gonna have to need a little, 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 bring that on down. Bring it on down. Maybe a little too much. Maybe a little too down. Bring it on up. Whoop! Show it again. Okay. At times, the only light in this accursed swamp are the funeral piles. Oh man! Like talking mouth texture animation. That is, that is, that is old school '90s style for sure. Or or. Handsome. Thank you for the resub. Almost two years. Love you. Well, thank you very much. No it's been a wonderful two years. Ships of land when they can scarcely dare come near. If they did, the mob would claim the bog. Much like it did at Lighthouse. The bog. Oh. Man, this is rad. If this game came out in 97, I would have played through this intro like 10 times. Oh, we graven. Oh, yeah. It is better to die early. Death is natural. But this ox and what follows it. Ah, bats. <laughs> This dude rules. He's just he's just dropping the most depressing lore on you. Become the swamp preserved in the peat. This old man is just a real salty asshole. Oh man, this is all he does. He just tells you how much life sucks. Much has not been taken care of since the plague arrived. Fitting. Time does seem to be standing still. My penis fell off the other day. Take care, your dick will fall off too. Sweet. Graven. I can't wait. I can't wait for, for wait for Graven. You have any more wisdom for me, old man? Don't forget your stuff, priest. It's the only thing that will keep you alive. Rad. You're gonna need it more than I. Oh. I'm supposed to be dead. Where is she? What happened to my daughter? Whose voice was that? How can I earn my peace? The strange ferryman brought me to Cruxfirth. A backwater in every possible way, but this is far worse than even exaggerated rumor. Something horrible is going on here. I must help. Alright, I got my Bastion staff. I'm here in Cruxfirth. And I'm ready to get rude. And I just want to find my daughter. Ah! Where's my daughter? Map scroll acquired. If only finding one's daughter were so easy. Rib for your spell casting pleasure. Yeah, it's got a nice little twist, doesn't, doesn't it? It helps create a vortex for my ethereal flow that I can then channel into a arcane beam of dark magics. Oh. There's something pretty cool about like, 90s 3D accelerated interiors. Very cozy. Very boxy. Hold on, let me... Let's... Let's... Give all 3D effects a rest here and see what the game looks like without it for a sec. Okay. It's a little more... A little more vibrant. Oh, it doesn't have the texture filtering either. That's interesting. Yeah. I guess that was the era of, like, hardware accelerated texture filtering made everything look really clean and smooth but like textures weren't that high resolution so everything just kind of looked blurry yeah totally looks like a game from the 2000s it's reminding me a lot of like unreal 2 right now neom just have unlimited sprint wait did i lose hp oh no wait i have 14 green and 15 red 
Uh, weathered and unrefined yet smooth to the touch. The wood has a slight hum to it, but also plenty of heft. The stranger who gave it to you implied great things. This music rules. One, two. I can't do that. I want to read this book. Is it this? Can't seem to select it. Well, all right then. I won't worry about it for now. Ha! Who? Hey! Man, this this era of games was so great. Ooh. So much ambition. Just, just trying to sprint towards simulating worlds as fast as possible. That. Reminds you of Thief? Yeah, I thought there's another game that is actually a Spiritual Thief uh, remake, and it's not this one. That one's uh, getting published by uh, New Bloods. <laughs> Gloomwood, I think it's called? That might be what you... Uh, well, if you like Thief. Yeah, Gloomwood, that is. It looks great. Uh, it looks real, real good. If you like Thief, definitely look that up. But yeah, I, I certainly thought this was a, a Thief-like... Uh, just, just based on the screenshots. But I think... I don't know. I guess we'll see what it is. Hello, boys. A priest. It's too late for prayers. The waste is clogged up with the dead. More than a sword could cut through. You get our muck flowing again. We'll let you in. Wait, what? It's the doorway down by the steps to the docks. We've ordered it up, so you might need to break through. All right. I got a quest. The boy said he found a way to get the money we need for safe passage, but the next morning he was gone. Please someone find him. We barely escaped the quarantine. Ooh. Wanted. Gravik, butcher of man, woman, and child. Last seen in the muskeg, approach with caution. 4,000 gold for his capture or death. That's an FPS RPG. Yeah, it seems like it. I think, I think it is procedurally generated. But that wheel bear that out eventually. Make it a little less like Skyrim. It's a down by the docks, right? Eee, time one to clean up their grave clog beneath the city. It's gonna take a with a firm hand and an iron stomach. Grave clog. Go down and unclog the grave drains so that all the bodies can flush out. Uh, was it this one? Oh, okay. Hello? Somebody's been a naughty grave. Oh, there's an evil wizard here. In flame, a tool to light torches, trigger explosives, and melt ice. Ah, it's a spell book. <laughs> cool. Eh. Okay. Wow, I am out of magic. Uh, let's see here. Darth Mouse uh, has a random question as a fellow Texan. How did you rid your southern drawl? Um, it kind of disappeared when I entered, like, high school. And I started watching media from other places in the country. I started watching a lot of PBS and stuff like that. Um, and it kind of just blended away. Um, because then, like, my, my friends also kind of lost their accents at that time, too. But yeah, up until I want to say I was like 14 or 15 and I had a real strong... Ooh, there's a boot button. Excellent. I had a real strong, uh, and I would say immaculately adorable Texas drawl. It still comes back sometimes if I drink a lot. And especially if I'm around people that have it. Do you get it back when you visit? Uh, occasionally. Like, some of the... A couple of times, uh, when I was in Austin, and, uh, 
And like, it was like for a holiday party while we were there, so I had a couple drinks and then like, the Lyft driver taking us back to the hotel had a pretty strong accent and I just like, yeah, just picked it up immediately. Um, Stephanie was kind of freaked out. That's funny, drinking can influence accents, yeah. It is. I guess your, your brain just starts clicking over into other and older modes. Yeah, I was... I didn't even know I was doing it, so... From Louisiana and agree, your environment and what media you consume definitely affect your accents after a while. Mine come, comes back around family. Ooh. Liquid relief both imbibing and bathing. So you get to choose your own headcanon about what happens when you pick up those vials. Maybe your, your man's uncorks it and just... Dumps it over his head. Alright. Okay. Vial, the vials are health. I'm here to unclog some drains, yeah? That seems like a clog right there. Oh, wait a minute. The idea that I need to put a barrel there? Maybe that's maybe that's the idea. Oh, referring to y'all? Y'all is such a delightful word. And yes, it is it is a fantastic and and I would I would say needed gender neutral uh group ref uh, referential word. You can be plural. It just is weird. <laughs> it's used so um, rarely like that. That uh, also, I like thinking that I like thinking that Texas gave gave the uh, gave the world a favor by slurring you all into one conveniently easy to say and friendly sounding word. Y'all's the best. I agree. In terms of cultural exportation, it's one of the few things I can uh, hang my hat on, so to speak. Oh! Oh! Squelchy. I guess that's what I'm down here to do. <laughs> cool. This is my power fantasy for, th for the day. I need you to <laughs> grip, grab this whacking stick. <laughs> Go down into the sewers. The corpse sewers. With all the shit and corpses. And take this take this whacker stick and go whack the corpses until they break up. And they flush down. Ugh. Oh, oh, Shooklet, thank you for the resub. Oh, and Ansem, thank you for the sub as well. Oh, an Australia use as in a plural of you, and I fucking hate it. I don't mind it. That seems that seems nice. What are yous up to? It feels Canadian, but I'm mostly just thinking of letter Kenny. We say used in New York. Uh, I don't mind that. I'm, I want to say that y'all is a teensy bit friendlier, but I am, of course, biased. Yeah, that is a pleasing picking up of gold sound. I like that. How much left in my stash? Hopefully no one looks here. It's exactly the note I place inside the hidden stash area. I mean, it's too late if somebody reads that, right? I guess he's just saying his deep, deep hidden thoughts. So there's really no reason to do this. Nobody really says use unless you're a mobster. Yeah. Why, I yana? Use mugs is worthless. I guess if you could light torches. I guess that's not really a torch, huh? Something moved. Yeah, that's a that's a pretty classic uh that's a pretty classic hexen thing. Something happened. Although unlike hexen, they are actually giving you some kind of visual feedback about what's happening and where. Oh, tricked. Huh. 
I... Huh. Do I have to, like, carry this barrel through the door? Or... Oh, may, oh, I think I got it. I was thinking about that other thing that had, like, the barrel outlined next to the corpse pile, and I was like, explosive barrel, corpse pile. Then I saw this one, and I was like, aha, this is the barrel. I don't think that's how it goes, though. All right, now I'm over here. Great. Oh, yeah, they did say there'd be puzzles. We got puzzles. Did all barrels explode? Let's find out. Is your staff unbreakable? I think so. I never saw anything about it, uh, about it breaking itself. Or like a durability meter or something like that. Random Librum. This looks cool. I agree. I'm having a pretty good time so far. Other one was red. Was it? It didn't look red. Also, it's not the same size. All right. You were probably right. Never mind. There are indeed explosive barrels. I guess those just are heavy. Oh, I have to trade him, I bet. I bet I have to trade him. I bet I have to trade him. Take the non-explosive barrel in. Bring the explosive... Oh! <laughs> yeah. Cool. I was hoping that would happen. Okay, alright. Move back this way. Zoop. No. Here we go. No. Also no. <laughs> Wait, I'm just back to where I was. Oh. That's kind of interesting how the like... I, I don't think I've quite seen uh, that specific technique before where you do first person melee. And when the game registers a hit, it like slows the weapon down. I've seen like swinging and stopping at a hit. But like that, like, that's an interesting way to do it. It kind of reminds me of like doing frame stutters uh, in beat em ups like Devil May Cry. Hit lag? A little bit. Like, lags are usually just stopped frames. Uh, it is a version of that, which is kind of neat. It's, it's interesting visual feedback. Uh, you know, apart from the blood explosion every time you, you make contact. That would be interesting if, like, it got to the point where, and, and this is just me sort of thinking out into the blue sky, but if there were weapons that had, like, an optimal arc in the swing, that'd be a really cool way to sort of give you visual feedback about where that, where that, where that point is and whether or not you're hitting it. And I think that would be kind of cool uh, in terms of melee combat to do this, like, back and forth uh, distance dance and try to time it so that you go in on, like, a... Uh, You go in on like a, a you go in so like the it hits at the right time or something like that. I mean, oh, Halo Griffball had a sweet spot with a brute hammer. Oh, that's cool. Doesn't Conqueror's Blade do that? Does it? I just thought it was like a, like a damage RNG and then a, um, oh, we got another, wait, what? So this is where I have to take the, I finally found my way back. This is what I have to get an explosive barrel to. But now I have to remember where I left it. Wait, what? Oh. Oh. Okay, never mind. I, uh... Okay, I think I understand a little more now. Is it... Uh, okay. So there's like a reveal radius and it also doesn't... Doesn't really write down absolutely everything that's in the arena. Also, I wonder if these guys respawn. I just straight up haven't been able to find my way back to that one. Is this it? This looks like it. This feels like it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is a red one? You think? Yeah, maybe? Oh, 
Yeah. It is a different texture. Oh no! Oh, okay, well, that worked out anyway. Red ones are behind the door with a lever. Door with a lever. The joke's on you because I don't know what that is. I'm sure it'll stick out the second I see it. Watch! Behold! Optic blast! Alright. It's just a heavier barrel. Oh, this door. Alright. Oh, I don't have a lever. <laughs> is this an RPG, a roguelike, or a dungeon crawler thingy? Uh, it seems... I mean, it seems like the answer is yes. It is, a uh, An environmental puzzle RPG action game? Lever is what you seek. Then I will search for this lever. I am here to do a job, and to finish that job I require a lever. I think I'm backtracking at this point. Yeah, that's this is a weird map. To try and I mean, I, I'm I'm super okay with it being a little arcane and tough to read. I feel like that's part of the game. More uh, simple. Like, it can't spell everything out for you. Alright, alright, alright. I'm gonna lie slow. Slow. Oh, you have to place it? Oh, maybe these don't have weight. Like, these won't. Oh. Maybe it has to be one of the other barrels. Yeah, okay. Alright, well. Lever Quest 2020 continues. 2021. Oh my god. My brain is only functioning at like 5%. I'm gonna see a sweet ladder animation. Or not. There we go. That looks like a lever! Huzzah! Key ingredient to some mechanical function. See where it fits. Lever Finder 2021. Lever Finder Extreme. But I have not purchased the Lever Finder Battle Pass yet. It features 12 new kinds of levers. <laughs> is today THC day? It is. Gregor, stop putting the peat barrels by the torches. They don't need to dry. It's peat. Peat is squishy and it is flammable. Are you trying to blow us all up? Fix the gate lever too. There's a spare joint on the north platform. Don't knock the ladder down while you're up there. They told me everything. They told me everything and I didn't look. It was all right there. My god. Idiot. Got some barbs. I want those arrows. I want those arrows. Yeah, Gregor's a real idiot. What are the rates for getting a legendary lever? I don't know if they've even patched them in the game yet. I think they said legendaries are coming in a few months. Alright. What was that? Things keep squirting. One corpse pile remaining. Drat. Here I thought I had found the singular corpse pile that needed to be detonated. 
0.001% chance of getting a legendary lever. Yeah. Sometimes they run like a lever weekend where they boost the rate, but it's not very common. And it's not worth waiting for, really. If you're deep into the lever connect collecting community. It's so hot. Yeah. It hasn't gotten super hot here yet, and I'm grateful for that. I know it will, though. Well, I, I actually just lied. I lied just now. I'm sorry. It never really gets super, super hot here. But I think it's like the mid-80s. Like, just neat, or just, just toasty enough to be uncomfortable and sweaty in the, like, middle of the day. But yeah, having grown up in Texas, I certainly know it gets worse than that. So, I gotta catch myself. Sometimes I, sometimes I gotta catch myself, taking things for granted. That's not good. Uh, oh yeah, the other one was like down here, right? Thoughts, actually, I thought I saw another one that was all plugged up. Gotcha, Momar. Oh, you weren't supposed to spoil it, though. Or were you just suggesting? Wait, I think I just saw it. Oh, there were two! Okay, I thought these were the same thing. Alright. You were just speculating. My bad. Alright, that means I gotta carry a barrel here. The symmetry of the room makes it a little tough. Remember which direction you're looking sometimes? I mean, there's no like compass or anything. that's the solution. I just like using barrels to cheese enemies. That sounds like a fun pastime. Can you not? Okay. Jeez. Okay. I'm trying to praise this again. There was, yeah, there was really no... You have to... Yay! I'm a good corpse cleaner. The muck is flowing properly now. I can't blame them for passing this work downhill, but I hope my nostrils survive the aftermath. It fares better than my conscience. Creator, forgive my transgressions. So I guess I've done something very bad, and that's why I, I am now in Graven territory. Maybe, uh, maybe through hints in the environment, I'll discover what that thing might be. I just want my daughter back. Dear God, just give me my daughter back. Map of Clotted Avenues. Alright. Free map, I guess. Oh, so squelchy. Oh, commando motivations, yeah. They took my daughter, so I took their dick. Strap up time. When the t daughter's missing, it's time to 
Time to go to Cabela's and buy some gear. Is it this way? Can we go back out? The stream title still says food break. Dang it! You're right. Thank you, John. Let me fix that. There we go. I do forget that. The tip. Tip it ahead. Tip it, tip it ahead. Um. I don't see. I swear, I accidentally left this area like three times. Maybe twice. And it's weird to me now that I can't find a way. I guess, I guess I'm to backtrack out. Missing daughter, RE8 ripoff. Yeah, I mean, we gotta gotta put a new twist on the dad somehow. And you know, uh, genders and all that. You gotta get some representation going. So, dads and daughters. Am I trapped in here now? This is how I got in here. I thought. Or is there like an exit that I can flow through? Uh. My daughter. I told you it was slow. It'll pick up soon. Oh, that's okay. I, I'm enjoying myself. Just a little, just a little confused. That's all. Also, don't see where I am on the map, which is odd. This is one, my daughter. The beginning had that spider web thing. Yeah, it did. You're right, it did. It did. Maybe it's over here. Spider web thing. Spider web thing. Ah, the sweet smell of Cruxforth. How I've missed it. Lingers in my nostrils now. Quite different than the smell of rotting corpses below. It's a pretty rad skybox. Spooky. Dad trying to find his dad? You can't dad too much. Now hold on. Oh yeah, Silent Hill 3 though was missing dad. My daughter trying to find dad. Usually it's just dad's not around and no one cares. That's your Pokemon thing. Most RPGs. Chrono. Where's Mario's dad? Nobody knows. Missing pet. Blaster Master? Uh, howdy, boyos. Cleaned out the shitter. Good enough, but I wish you hadn't brought the stitch back up with you. Even the plague smells better. Go on in. Thanks, Gunter. Hey, we got a hub. Ah, all right. I hate to plead, but you seem to be passing through, or at least you're not from here and aren't sick. You want to meet the library? Tough luck, we're besieged on all fronts heading that way. We can't get out while that plagued horde is beating down upon us. I'm not fit to venture out, but you certainly look tough enough. <laughs> the old sunken lighthouse. What? Refuel it. From the storage towers nearby, light it! We might stand a chance if we can draw some away from the gate. We need supplies, talk to the blacksmith. <laughs> All right. All right, nerd. I will. Gosh, you guys can't even drag the, drag the bodies away. I gotta step over all these dang bodies to just get wet my whistle a little bit. I've been in the, I've been in the sewers all day. I want to go to a place with a lot of people indoors with no ventilation and drink some beer. Is that Kirby stick for bashing or does it magic? Nope, just bashing. The book of glyphs magics. Hmm. What a jerk. How about I take your potions, asshole? My journal updated. The gates of Cruxforth rise. An infection is rampant, and unfortunately, the innocent have lost their minds to the point of unending rage. I must seek out an official of the city. 
Oh man, there's there's lore in here though. Crux forth faces plague. With those not struck down by the infection turning horribly violent. The tax collector suggested that we lure them away using an old sunken lighthouse in the muskeg. I only need find two fuel canisters and a means to ignite the fuel. My newfound capabilities, abhorrent though they may be, seem exactly the fit. Can't wait to use my magic powers to light a lighthouse. This is pretty cool. It's... It's spooky. Where the sea meets the soil, where the peat workers toil, where the beating breasts royal Cruxforth shall rise, the watchman of the empire. I'm the watchman of D's nuts. Got him. Emperor can, uh, can gargle on D's nuts any old day. Can you upgrade my stick, sir? Oh. Short sword. A fletch, flat chant. Shooting stuff with man, shooting bows and arrows would be cool. But I feel like I'm gonna use a sword way more. I've only been swinging at stuff so far, so. Haha! -ha! Weapon befitting a mighty warrior. Oh, Jide. Or Jade? Thank you very much for the sub. Oh, Captain, my Captain. Thank you for the sub. <laughs> Baba Booey. That's a funny word. Oh, Mecha Arc. Thanks for the sub. I'm going to keep on trucking as long as I can. Okay, these are all the angry guys. That's cool. A little environment. One environment set piece. Well, I don't like this one. Just like, seems like he's just wristing it. Maybe that's my uh, incomparable battle speed. All right, I don't know where I'm on. I don't know where this map is anymore. I don't know what's going on. Maybe you have to find maps and then they fill in or something. It's Legend of Zelda now. Go into random places, start bashing things. Oh, spooky. Ha ha ha! Ha! Take that! Have it! Have it! Thee! Can I break doors? Stuff's flying off of it. Awesome. Breaking stuff is great. It's the best. There's no greater moment in video games than smashing things with this sword. Ding! If I could do this in real life, I would so much. Just like, barely tap something with a sword and it like explodes into a million pieces. That'd be so much fun! Ooh! Mid-air shot! Get it on the rebound next time. Oh, hello. Oh, I, oh, oh. Is that like TNT, I guess? Wait a minute. Yeah, they told me to go to the lighthouse, but... Hmm. Old sunken lighthouse. Well, maybe I can just see it. They... I thought... I thought the dude mentioned it on the way in. So maybe it's back towards the dock area. There was that tower. Yes. Yes, yes. I'm figuring it out. <laughs> Trick shot bonus, yeah. <laughs> Double combo. Triple malaria bonus. You've got the plague. It's like an arcade game from The Simpsons or something. I think maybe this is a sunken lighthouse. It doesn't seem tall enough, but... <laughs> who am I to judge, you know? I'm not... Who am I? A federal lighthouse inspector? <laughs> what do I know? I'm just a mage. Just a guy with a sword and a mage book. Ha! Thought you were playing EDF? Not yet. Uh, I'm gonna start playing EDF in two hours from now. Two hours. Got, uh... Gonna... Gonna get into EDF World Brothers with the boys. The homies. Palling up with the old knuckleheads. 
That's right, it's happening again. The voxel one? Yes. It is it is voxel style. Not necessarily like not necessarily voxel in gameplay really, but it is cute looking. I'll give it that. And there's a million weird little EDF characters and tons of bizarre guns. So I'm looking forward to it. Alright, I have to if this is what I thought it was, there'd be something to light up here, but nope, it seems like it's this. So maybe this isn't a lighthouse after all. Or maybe I have to set it on fire. What did they tell me to do? We'll use an old sunken lighthouse in the musk egg. Two f I only need to only find two fuel canisters and a meat is to ignite the fuel. Oh, maybe I take it back to the... wait. Capabilities is Maybe I gotta go talk to the tax man again? As long as they're singing. I'm pretty sure you can do the chance. I'm not I don't want to validate that or verify that early, but I also can't imagine that uh developers have been EDF, especially when they made EDF before, would not allow us to sing the song of defending Earth. That is the only reason we play, after all. I don't see the light. Have you lit it? Go then. Um, alright, so I don't talk to him. Okay, the map is there now. This seems to make a little more sense. Okay, so I was- I guess I was underneath this area before, and that's why the map didn't add up a whole lot. Yeah, this makes- makes tons more sense. Uh, alright. Our red barrel's fuel canisters. Yeah, I think they're packed with peat. And that peat burns so quickly that it basically explodes. Is I think the idea. It's a very screamy evening in this town. I don't know that it's really that remarkable. I would go so far as to say this might be a normal amount of screaming for this town. A lighthouse. Can you tell me where lighthouse is? Yeah, you don't do that. Lighthouse, anyone? I may be covered in poo and rotting body bits, but you can still treat me like an equal. Oh, well, that's neat. Oh, those look like the docks. Yeah, in the building there. Oh. Uh oh. Got us a little treasure to go find. Let's go. Let's go get some treasure. I bet it's going to be a magical sword. I bet. I bet I can't wait. For my magic sword. Oh yeah, I guess I should go check out the blacksmith. Oh, there's going to be there's going to be evil fish. No. Swords all bloody. This Drowning in the blood of my enemies. AKA these stupid fish. Stupid hiss fish. I'm trying to get treasure. Get out of here. Oh yeah, he's starting to clean the sword off. Hey! 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 Oh, right, air. I was wondering how that would work out. Really? Maybe it's just... I guess that was it. Maybe it takes a while to breathe? Yeah, it seems like it. Alright. I guess there's an invisible breath meter that doesn't... Oh, bottom left? 
Oh, there it is. Oh, thank you. Yeah, appreciate that. I didn't see that. Well, actually, maybe I do go out this way to get to the lighthouse. Because I, I swear the dude talked about it on my way in, but I didn't see it. Can I take a boat? Why is that doing that? I don't know. No boats. Only dock. Okay, yeah, I guess so. Then I guess I'll, uh, just start cruising out here. Okay, there's invisible walls. Oh, that's another thing that used to be a video game thing. Safe, uh, safe video game tropes to lampoon. Always gets a laugh. Talking about them invisible walls. It's weird how, like, there was this, there was this, like, well, maybe I'm assuming too much, but I feel like there was such the sentiment that once we got away from these silly video game things that didn't mean anything, games would evolve and transcend and... No. No, that's not how that works. It'd become, I guess, like, full sensory world simulations, which I guess would be cool. Swimming fast as fuck for someone not using their hands. That's because I have magic feet. I have magic propeller feet. Not a lot of people know that. You forced me to tip my hand, so well played. Okay, I don't think this is where the lighthouse is. Like a duck? Yeah. Like a magic battle duck that's also cool and sexy. So you'd think it'd be just like a straight shot forward from this area, but that's where the zombies are. Is the lighthouse... Is, is it in the town? Are you a lighthouse? Huh? That could be a lighthouse. This looks like a conspicuous door. Nope. Alright. Ah! Ah, oh, here we go. Musket. Great. I just had to go down this hallway. I've done it. I've solved the most devious puzzle in the game. Oh wait, I should go to the blacksmith. I have some money, right? Yeah. Oh wait, I did. Never mind. That's right, I bought the sword. This means it's getting a little more dire. Damn! Damn! His head popped off. Nice. Wow, that's gonna make this way faster. I guess until there's a red zombie that takes 12 hits or something. Eh. Skull key needed. Skull key for the skull keep. Nice. Guess I gotta go pick it up at the end of the skull dock. In the skull swamps. Whittle the bone and marrow for getting past obstacles. I like how they were like, we should have keys, right? And then they were like, ooh, that just sounds kind of normal. Thought for a second. Bone keys, dude. Yeah, keys made out of bones. Flawless accent, thank you. I am uh, what you'd call a video game voice actor. I'm not, actually. I've done a single ounce of that. A wrist-mounted crossbow. Good accuracy and damage for its size. All right. I got guns now. Oh, man. That shoots fast. Yeah, this is, this is speeding up pretty significantly now. I don't even... Why would I ever use the stick? Ever. You're an animated voice actor. That is true. 
I am an Adult Swim broadcasted voice actor. Ugh. Yeah, the trail's pretty cool. It reminds me of like, uh, kind of early, how like smoke would look in earlier games. For what's for what show? Genlock. Genlock season one. I had like like ten lines. My sex ring is on Adult Swim. Hell no. Ho, ho, ho. As much as it uh, as much as it wanted to be, I guess. I never knew. Yeah. Your old pal Lawrence has been in an anime. How about that? How about that? Rip sex wing. <laughs> yeah, rest in peace sex wing. I've seen them encroaching on this area. They're slow, but they're making their way here. I'm prepared to die. I've accepted the harsh reality that I've lived a selfish and horrible life. I deserve what's going to happen to me. I just wish I could have read my most treasured book one last time. It's kept in the library now, I believe. Oh, how I loved reading about that old man, Fildar. Ah, oh, we got some quote. We got some clues. Clues about quests. I think I showed my acting chops in Arizona Circle. I'd like to think so. That was really fun. I would like the ability to do that again. If there are any indie filmmakers in chat, let's talk. That reminds me, I, I, I gotta like do some Google searching and start poking around for like student film groups and just offer myself to that. I will be in your weird art house, whatever. I feel like I could be, uh, uh, I could be a dad or I could be a, an angry dad or a sad dad. Could be. Well, I guess I already did Sad Dad. Uh, but I could do Sad Dad again. Uh, people like Sad Dad. Here, let me... I, uh, I, just, I just want my daughter. There we go. Just a dad? Well, I mean... I guess I could also be an, uh, an adopted... Adoptive father. Uh, of some sort. Maybe. I'd ha I might have to study for that. I might have to do some research on that one. So, if there's any adopted father rules, you give me give me some time to, to read up on Wikipedia about that. But, <laughs> but yeah, if uh, all your dad needs, you come right here. I actually, uh, I don't know if this is something you get you ever get to choose, or if there's a lot of competition for it. I mad there must be. Like there was for anything performance related, but. I think it'd be really cool to, to get into character acting. Just like, just like a, uh, maybe like a five or six liner, just weirdo that shows up and fulfills, fulfills a quirky part in a story. Like the, the Peter Stormare, uh, school of, school of, of roles and acting. Cool. Minecraft. Prez Kane, thank you for the sub. Double stream, baby? Yeah? Are you getting two streams? How many streams do you get? I saw a person look exactly like Buck Buck at the grocery store. So weird. That is weird. I did not expect that Buck Buck could exist outside of, of Blaine. The wild popped just as that exploded. It was quite timely. Nice. Uh, it was such a good idea to swap that. Uh, also, hey, Doctor. Hello. This looks important. Oh, this looks... Maybe this is a lighthouse. It's gonna spawn a lot of mans. Oh. Gorgonon, hey! Thank you for the resub. Oh, I've been doing awesome, though. I had a, had a wonderful trip to Vegas. I went to a spa. Uh, I ate, I ate trash can nachos. 
I had a steak. Uh, had some nice cocktails. Hung out in the sun. Played Celeste on on the Switch in the car. That was cool. Went to a baseball game. Doing things. Going outside. It's it's a wonderfully nostalgic experience. That was a Gordon Ramsay joint. It was good. It was good. It was unique. It was a. Uh, it was an interesting dining experience. I think. Uh, I guess if I if I had my choice, I'd probably choose a new place to check out. Like I don't know that I enjoyed it so much that I would I would seize any opportunity to go back. But it was interesting. I liked it. Come on, you. Ha! Yeah, the flame touch has a shockingly short range. I have different kinds of mana now. What is blue mana even for? Can you kick barrels? Oh! Oh. Oh. Huh. This is almost like Dark Messiah of Might and Magic level booting. I haven't been I haven't been booting enemies. You know what? This is a, a really interesting kind of throwback game because it is about exploring like big environments. These places are big. And that was such a thing in like first and even second gen kind of 3D graphics. We can make things big now. Let's make them big. I'm tired of all these small 2D levels. You can see them and walk around in them, make them huge. Like Turok 1 was huge, big ass, big levels. Running around, getting lost. And big open spaces that were just kind of laced with fog, just so it ran well. But... <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna do it. Ow! Alright, bad, bad, bad idea. I, uh, I had no reason to think that was gonna go any other way. But I did it anyway. Hmm. I still don't seem to have discovered a lighthouse. Was it over here? Maybe it was over there. It was this way, right? Yeah. Truck felt massive back in the day. Yeah! And like Shadows of the Empire. I remember having big ass areas. Jedi Knight. Um, Dark Forces 2, specifically. Had big ass areas. Bigness. Utter bigness. Maybe I just turned around. I do that sometimes. It's unfortunately way faster to pop barrels with a sword, but... God bless that boot! That's cool looking. So squelchy. Okay. Ah, I see. I'm honestly not sure why I'm here. But... Speedrunner, or CM Speedrunners from Hell, Dusk, and a Medieval were as deep as I got into the throwback games, but I've been meaning to go back. There's a lot of them, and they're all really good. That's the crazy thing. 
Uh, Ghost Runners, really, really good. I guess that's not quite as much of a throwback, but... Uh, what is it? Ion Fury is, is just crazy, crazy good. I'm happy to see a Medieval showing up a little bit more. Uh, they got that RTX update. I really like that game. That is the, a, a little bit closer to this sort of sensibility, too. Kind of big, big, big areas. With, uh, just little pockets of enemies, and you just... A significant portion of the game is just running around at ridiculous speeds through giant toroids and 3D shapes that modelers just had fun creating. Rad. Oh, sick. I fear no cobweb, because I have spicy hands. GDQ speedrun of a medieval. Great shit since the devs were on board too. No! I haven't. When was that? When did they do that? Ah. Pigasus. Thank you very much for the prime. You're raving to watch some graven? Love to hear it. Oh yeah, Ocarina of Time, it did have some pretty big areas, yeah. A lot of the, like, dungeons had some pretty big central sort of hub, hub rooms, and then Hyrule Field and stuff. Pretty, pretty opened up. I guess when I think about it, technically that seems to be the one thing the N64 could actually get away with that the PlayStation couldn't really, like, a. uh... Over-the-shoulder, forward-looking camera of a big open space. Even though the N64 did require tons and tons and tons of uh, fog to make it work, to make it playable. Ow! Doesn't seem to do anything. Halo had some big areas. That's true. Yeah, both interior and exterior. Yeah, I think Halo was part of that part of that wave. It was kind of at the tail end of it, I think. That was sort of like Half Life had some big areas too, but Half Life was a little more closed in, and sort of Half Life was the it was sort of the difference between having a big, expressive open world with like vistas and environments that made you feel away, and having a more closed in hallway with uh, scripted beats that would deliver story moments to you. Um, because you can't really have scripted beats in like a big open field. Um, I guess you can, there are tricks, but um, players are gonna be looking any old direction, they'll be anywhere, but if it's a nice hallway, players are gonna be going one of two directions and they're gonna be looking one of two ways. And it's pretty easy to, to, to kind of screen a few of those out. They appeared so quickly, we we just wanted to aid the blacksmith, but out of nowhere, these creatures appeared. We ran as fast as we could, and luckily they could not keep up. The plant life around here should give us some cover, but I fear that we will be found eventually. I can only hope our deaths are a swift one, or at least it is for young Ardana or Ar Ar Adrana. He isn't a child anymore, but he's still so young he doesn't deserve a slow, painful death. That's true, he does. That would be sad. Rough times and graven. I don't have an arrow. I thought there was an explosive barrel not that far back. I saw a big old crackety wall. I feel like it needs blowing up. Poor Adrana. Yeah, that's rough. Rough times for Adrana. Dang it. Maybe not. Maybe I made it up. I gotta, I gotta be careful about backtracking, because I'm gonna forget, and then I'm gonna get lost again. This isn't even backtracking. I thought this was. Sarah, thank you for the resub. 63 months! That's so many months. Been a lot of gaming in that amount of time.
wouldn't spend it any other way. Grave times and graven. Gaming graven. Ah! The serpent key. Access to places only the cunning can be reach. I didn't even know I needed that. That's just how cunning I am. I feel like I've dropped into a place I've already been. Yeah, okay. Where's it go? Oh, it's above. Uh. This looks suspicious. So just run around. Oh, it's like the moat. Yeah. Oh. Uh, well, let me up there. Yeah. Hey. Oh. Okay, uh, I need an explosive thing and I need a heavy thing. I don't think these count. Uh, there was that crate. Well, I needed that to get in this area in the first place. Now you gotta look for the serpent door. Puzzle time! Yeah, Gorgonon, it's uh... This game's kind of unique. I, I can't say that I've played another game l like this recently. That lets you loose in a big area with like enemies and stuff, but has environmental puzzles that are separated. Every environmental puzzle I've played in, like, the last decade has all been in the same room. Or at the very least, within, like, a hallway's reach of each other. There's... There's been very little, uh, developers letting loose players in big open spaces. Hey! There we go. Big open spaces, it's sort of asking them to find things and carry them across big distances. Am I going back the right way? I don't think this is back the right way. Is it? Is that what that is up there? I can't see. No, it's not. But I thought it was... Where was that stupid gate? Uh, can you can you draw on this map? I don't think so. That would be useful. Uh, what is this game? Never seen it or heard of it. It's called Graven. It just released in early access. It is a, an atmospheric puzzle action RPG. So there's some combat. You gotta kill some things sometimes. And you do that by swinging swords and throwing spells. And those you upgrade with money you get from killing things. So there's like an action RPG layer to it. But a lot of the game, the levels themselves, you progress through them by solving environmental interaction cues. Not necessarily killing everything. So, game reminds you of Heretic from the 90s. That is, I think, the, uh, that is the, the spiritual inspiration. And Heretic was very much that kind of game too. You would go into these massive Doom-like levels that were filled with enemies, but... The enemies were there, and you shot spells at them, and that was like part of the game, but a bigger part was fight like even more than Doom, was like finding keys, twisting levers, and solving puzzles. Um, to, to like open the right sequence of doors to let you get to the escape. Um, so that seems to be what's going on here. Uh, although it does seem like some lessons about level design and quality of life have, uh, have taken hold, which is great. Because, uh, Heretic, yeah, he actually, I was, I was thinking more Hexen than Heretic. Um, but yeah, Her Hexen was not a super friendly video game to play. Definitely from an era where, like, it didn't feel like it needed to do you a whole lot of favors when it came to figuring out how to beat it. Like, that's on you, buddy. a 90s throwback Outer Wild spacefaring game. Huh. There weren't really a lot of, like, spacefaring games in the 90s were like Master of Orion or Wing Commander. Uh, and if you want an, a throwback Wing Commander, Everspace 2 is, is pretty in there. Pretty in there. That, that game was pretty great. The PC Gamer have game hints like Nintendo Power? They would have, yeah, they would have guides and stuff. PC Gamer was great because they had a really high page count. So they would have guides and, and tips and stuff, and they would be like 10 pages long for individual games. Uh, they'd have articles about like patches and mods and stuff. Man, PC Gamer rules. I mean, I, I actually really like the outlet now. I think, uh, oh, Homeworld? Yeah, that's true. I forgot about Homeworld. Um, Peat Fuel Canister. Ah! 
so I've got that now. That seems like a thing that I needed. To spawn a boss of some sort. I hear something very unhappy. This is just these guys. Okay. But yeah, I, uh, getting that magazine. I think I bought it initially because it was big. Uh, I just really wanted... I think I was going on vacation with my parents, which meant that the, my dad was going to drive us to a state park in Colorado from Texas, which usually took like two days and was about like 12 to 14 hours of driving a day. So, uh, they would let... Like, they would... I could, I could like check books out of the library and I could, I could like buy a magazine or two. So I needed I needed something to occupy my time, and I think it was like a holiday issue or something. I don't know, or like it was a big summer issue. Thick zine, yeah. So that was great because I started reading it and I was like, holy cow, this is fantastic. Uh, there was because there was a lot of game design and uh, a lot of uh, game types that were going on on the PC at the time, and. Uh, just didn't see that stuff on console, so it was it was a brave new world. And they would do previews about games too, but they would talk about games in what I consider a bit more of a a practical and adult way. You know, like a game preview Nintendo Power would be like one paragraph being like, "This game's gonna be rad. It's got skateboarding in it. Look for it this summer." <laughs> Whereas a a PC gamer preview would be like a whole page filled with text. With like interviews with the devs and and uh, discussions about the game in context of what the devs had done previously and what they're doing next and their technical problems and all this sort of thing. Very eye-opening. Very very cool. So I didn't need to buy the sword, but it's been very useful. So I regret it not. My car trips were just Game Boy and Nintendo Power for myself. Fond members uh, holding up the Game Boy for light. Oh yeah, De definitely that as well. And uh, didn't have many games, and the ones I did have were were, gra were trash garbage. This is all too heavy. But really, I can't pick this up. It seems like exactly the the sort of crate that I would pick up to weigh something down. This place, it's become my home. I will not willingly give it. Up to these monsters, I'll defend it until my last breath. If I fall and am found, please take what you will, but promise me this, kill every last one of them. Yeah, sorry. But, thanks for the permission to rob you. Posthumously. I will do it with relish. This environmental audio is tits. I love these, like, spooky bells. Uh, one time I packed a sports bag full of Dragon Ball Z volumes for a car trip. Oh, sick! Just like sitting in the back getting hyped. I love long car rides. Being posted up in the back of a car with gamer mags and books sounds like heaven. It was good. Um, light's a little hard to get, uh, to read by. Either it's direct sunlight, which is fine, or uh, it's like shade, which can be difficult. Especially when the sun goes down. That's the big problem. When the sun goes down and your, and your parents are still driving, you're kind of effed. It used to be. In the before times. In the shit times. Now screens are backlit. But yeah. There there were some cozy moments. I mean, those, those were honestly not unhappy moments. It was a bummer to, like, be removed from my Super Nintendo and air conditioning. Because it was hot. Uh, the van my, my dad had did not have air conditioning. But, uh, uh, yeah, as long as I had books to read, they would run out quickly, though. And that's what I find myself rationing entertainment now, which is so dumb. There's, there's more, uh, finely crafted entertainment that exists right now than I could possibly consume over the course of my entire life. But I'll still want to, like, like I've been through some kind of depression while, like, 
try and hoard and ration things that I think will be entertaining or things that I think I will enjoy. It's it's stupid. I have to catch myself doing it because there's, there's no point. Okay, I have the peat canister. Now this is still a new area. I'm trying to cure, clear Tetris lines and intermittent street lamp illumination. Yeah, for me it was Pokemon. Uh, because you can play significant portions of Pokemon without seeing the screen. Uh, if you're like walking in a line through a dungeon and you like hit a wall, then you just wait for the next lamp and then it's like, okay, two left and then go up and then wait for the next light, basically. Or if you're giving menu commands, that's real easy to do. And you can hear if it's like a critical hit or if the Pokemon passes out or if yours passes out, that sort of thing. This is going to sound really stupid, but I only just now connected how that is an interesting way to sort of test a game for... Uh, accessibility. See if see if your uh, your like video or audio feedback is enough that the player can track what's going on if they just completely lose audio or video for chunks at a time. Granted, there's only some games that I think could work like that. <laughs> Lighthouse operation. For anyone who attempts to operate the lighthouse, please memorize the following. I would advise that you procure some defenses. Many operators seem to perish out there. It is quite unforgiving. The lighthouse needs two canisters to get started, but it can last for a long time. Ah, but it needs both to ignite. We keep spare ones in nearby towers. Does this mean I, I flame it? Looks like it. Oosh! So I guess there's gonna be a swarm? Yeah, this is supposed to attract all the zombies. Pokemon was a lot of car rides due to the sheer time you could dump? There's that too, yeah. The numbers go up. Uh, if you think about it from a gameplay perspective and a value proposition perspective, it is the most efficient kind of game. It's got the collectionism aspect. You really don't need that many assets. You just need the Pokemon tile sets for like the battle scenario and then a world map for the uh, for the like traveling scenario. And it's like infinitely grindable and the music is so good that it's uh, it's super playable. There's a reason it hit. It's really interesting to me sometimes to think about like the intersection of the function of a game with its popularity something of like and and especially when it surrounds its context like animal crossing you know it was already a thing but animal crossing landing in early 2010 changed the way that that game felt it changed a lot and for the better which is really cool uh it's fun to it's fun to observe that stuff happen you think this is this is cyber rant territory i'm okay with that nerdy paragon no lighthouse is lit. I don't know why I'm saying that. The horde spreads thin. I can proceed. I must return to the tax collector before this plan works too well and I am trapped. I just want my daughter back. Good to see you playing this, Lawrence. Content might be short, but man, is it so good. Oh, is it short? I don't, I don't know how long it is. Uh, what I've seen so far is extremely promising. Oh, there's so many mans. That's cool. A little world event. Uh, I don't know if this is the right way back. I don't think I've been over here. Oh, there needs to be something between lore and rant, like a deep thought emote. Okay, I can see that. A weed thought emote. Let me in. Nah. I just love when I pause a game to lay down some knowledge. No, it's more that I, I worry that I'll be a rambling, incoherent mess unless I try to get through it normally. Yeah, that doesn't open. So these are the main gates. Okay. Oh, I guess they'll probably open these after... Now that I've distracted the hordes. THC talk. <laughs> Tuesday talks. Nah, I gotta sober up. There's a... We got a sponsored gameplay coming up in like an hour and a half. Speaking of, Earth Defense Force World of Brothers coming up. Playing it with the boys! 
my crew, my running crew, my gang. We're gonna chop it down like old times. Drink more than anything will work out just fine. Somehow I don't think that. I get get bla blackout drunk before a sponsors love it. It shows that you're cool. <laughs> if you can do a sponsored gameplay incoherently drunk, that just means you're a cool dude. And advertisers love cool dudes. Any hidden lar lore you'd like to divulge? Ah. I'm not gonna give it up that easy. You're gonna have to you're gonna have to drag it out of me. It's a fun game of cat and mouse. Blackout drunk stream is bound to attract sponsors? Yeah. It's the only it's the only uh, family friendly sponsorship I uh or it's the only time I become family friendly. Also, yes, I agree, Crab Foam. When am I gonna get a four loco sponsorship? Four Loco is a gamer's beverage, and I'm tired of Four Loco pretending that that's not the case. It's the beverage of jokers and gamers everywhere. I just happen to be both. Bud Light is sponsoring stuff now. Yeah, Bruce does, does some Bud Light sponsored stuff, right? It's like the Bud Light Gamer Power Hour. Why am I... Wait, I completely blew right past him. He's right there. I'm not in the business of giving out gold, but I admit you've earned it. Thank you. You think you can make inroads with this plague? The quarantine zone should be accessible now. Barring that, the Cruxforth archives or that accursed house deep in the bog beyond are your best bet. Uh, Alright. There's somewhere where it boiled over, apparently. Somewhere within that tangled wretch is the path to the library, and from there, hopefully, answers. I recall spotting a blocked gate at the Lice Slough. I should find it. Uh... Is that what I remember? I don't want to go back there, but I will. Achievement under sponsored by Voodoo? Like, a lot? Oh, okay. That's cool. Beer is cool. And good. do anything. He's just mean to me. How much to game did this cost? Ah, random. You've allowed me to brag yet again. It costs me nothing, for I am partnered with a good old game store, and they carry this game, so in exchange, they ask that I tell you I think the good old game store is neat, because I do. Oh, also, I do have an affiliate thing, so you end up wanting to buy it, and you click, you buy it through that link. I think I get 6% of the purchase price. So yeah. Not only, it's it's unfair in, in multiple ways. Not only did I not have to buy the game, but I can also make money from other people buying it. Doesn't that, I don't know. <laughs> that seems wrong, but I guess that's the world, so. Seems like too good to be true, from my perspective. Is it any game or specific to this game? It is any game. If you click on the tracking link, it like, it lodges a little cookie in there that basically says you came from me. And then any game you buy, within like a week, uh, I get a referral bo- or like a referral percentage on. Commission. That's the word. So, there you go. It is your job. I mean, it is, but it's, it's really hard for me to understand and acknowledge to myself that it, it is a job and worthy of, of earning money. Um, I feel like that, I don't know, I don't, that doesn't devalue it in my mind. It just makes it, it's just hard for me to wrap my head around, I guess. <laughs> I'll always use it from now on? Well, I think, well, thank you. Thank you for that. Yeah, usually it's either, if you click on the image in my, uh, about section, my info page, or use the command, it'll, it'll link you. And should, should load you up with my, my stench, my taint. Your browser will have an aura of Lawrence about it. 
This is it, right? Seems like it. Oof. Yeah, was a. That's a brutal baby. If there's one thing I don't want to happen to me in my lifetime, it's for a stake to be rammed up through my butt, not my mouth. Other people may differ on that, but I'm going to go ahead on record and say that. I don't want that to happen. You're a curator for us, a marketing asset for game devs and GOG. Now that is true when I think about it in like ruthlessly practical and money-making terms, yes. Uh, in terms of the money flow that happens, it is possible that, you know, the developers of this game will get some money because of me streaming it now. But like, I don't know. I don't know. It's, uh, no, it, you're right. When, it, when I really think about it and acknowledge all, all aspects of it, it makes sense. I guess it's just, I'm, I'm deeply humbled to the point of, uh, having trouble to accept that people who work hard jobs, you know, get enough entertainment out of this to justify trading some of their work product away for it. Which is co kind of what it amounts to in terms of, like, spending money. But, either way... I'm getting dangerously close to a bit of imposter syndrome. Not necessarily imposter syndrome. More like I was, I guess I was raised with a, a certain culture of like work and that uh, a steadfast, uh, adamant, like the culture was very much, if you aren't suffering, you won't get paid for it. You know, that's, I think that's really what it stems from. There's not enough toil in what I do to justify getting paid for it uh, in my brain. There used to be, though, so to some degree, maybe it is like I worked myself into a position and now I, I am enjoying the benefit of all of my previous toil. When I think about it that way, it makes sense in the context of my head, but I don't know. The The actual answer is that equating the, the amount of suffering that you go through with the amount of enjoyment or reward you can expect is not a good thing to do. Because uh, the world doesn't really work like that. At least not that I've found. You gotta work three jobs to get ahead. I mean, that may be true at a certain at a certain point. I have worked three jobs before. And I would consider myself ahead now. But does that mean that one happened because of the other? I don't know. It's hard to break out of that. That's yeah. That's kind of what it's at, is I've 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 lived and worked in a certain mode for so long, and I think it's done me a lot of favors, but I think it's uh it's um utility is coming to its end or I think maybe the I've reached the limit of, of what it can do for me that sounds like it so yeah I hope I hope I explained that in a way that makes sense I don't know that it's quite imposter correlation does not equal causation yeah that's true also that so who knows a lot of mixed thoughts but one like one thing I want to reinforce is in all of those mixed up emotions, gratitude is still there in a very significant way. <laughs> it's not that I reject its its existence so I, I don't think about it. It's more that I am deeply grateful that people choose to spend time and time here and to support sponsors and all of that stuff. Very deeply grateful for that. <laughs> Gathering many eyes isn't easy. Take your share. That's a good point too. Now that's certainly a way to think about it. With all the competition, yeah. Getting somebody to, to sit down with you for a little bit. That is a rare and unique thing. I enjoy the thoughtful streams. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I got I got completely turned around. Um, also, I don't quite know what I'm going for there. Oh, I'm trying to find my way to the library. Mm. Wait, I'm out. How? When did I get out here? Why am I out here now? I am very confused. Um, oh. Hmm. I guess I'm gonna. Hmm. I guess I can run back around to the the lice slough again. I say imposter syndrome because it basically only has to be one does not believe they are experiencing something they should be in a sense. So, when someone to me says I'm playing this game and I'm getting rewarded for just doing something I want to do, it sounds like I don't feel like I'm doing something that warrants the value it's pro uh, producing or put, to put things like really coldly. Gotcha. 
It's what I'm hearing. It's not what's being said. No, I understand now. I okay. I think it's also just kind of different interpretations of imposter syndrome. Imposter syndrome is a fucking cunt. It's fucked me up for years. Yeah, that sucks, man. What's the point of that voice? What good does it do anyone? And I, I know that, like, I'm not suggesting that merely saying that out loud makes it go away, but... Yeah, it's, it's weird. What is a man? A miserable pile of trauma responses. Yeah, that's my... That's my 2021 director's cut uh, version of Dracula. Morrissey, thank you for the prime. Appreciate that. I was making the most money I ever made as a salesman, but I felt like I was doing very little. Yeah, the the interchange of... Is that, that is the watchtower. Maybe this isn't where I should go right now. Yeah, because it's just... Okay, maybe this was meant to be the, like... Maybe there's a different gate. Okay. Mr. Hartar, not quite. Just thinking through things, making sense of this crazy gonad world. Sometimes it helps to know I can push myself a bit more. Yeah, I agree with that. It's nice to know you can, like... You can burn hot and make some amazing things when you need to. But equally important to, uh, to not burn yourself hot all the time. Okay, here we go. I think this door was never really opened before. Literally asked for extra work today at the job because it doesn't feel like what I do should earn me what I'm making. What a weird and bizarre thing. Never tell your boss that. Uh, but yeah, it's crazy. I, I do, I've learned that, um, I was... It is an important skill to always ask for more. I I sometimes struggle with like taking more than I think I need, but man in business, there's no reward for being modest. Aside from maybe just not stressing about certain things. I think that's that's valid, but suspicious door. Music is going off all of a sudden. I work you to the bone. Yeah, I. One thing I guess I've thought more and more about is who's enjoying, who's actually enjoying the benefit of my work. Uh, and I wish I had thought about it in those terms far earlier than I did. Skeleton warriors. Oh my gosh! Yes. Armored skelly warriors. Is he gonna get back up? Oh, I guess that's it. Okay. I thought he was gonna like shamble up and start ricketing around with bones again. Ever tried Void Bastards? Oh yeah. Schmaggle, I, I loved that game. That game was phenomenal. It kind of reminded me of like a rareware game. Like a classic rareware game. It's like fatalistic sense of humor and, and I don't know. It was also sort of like a System Shock roguelike and that's just an amazing combination. Ah, I talked about it before, but you know I have a degree in astrophysics and a uh, great job in my field, all while having ADHD issues with math and was not great in the university. Figured it out though. I love it. The ability to to not choose the easy path, but to choose the hard path and make it work, and to have that confidence and, and the ability to like to just validate yourself in that way, I think is really important. Because yeah, there were there were a couple of options too where. In a lot of ways, I definitely intentionally took the hard path. The ability to go beyond. Yeah, or to, to rise above your limits for a, for a bit of time. I am also, I am now learning that the value in understanding your limits, too. Of, uh, of I guess, maybe accurately knowing where, the, where those limits are. And yeah, I guess that's ultimately my word of caution is... It can be really fun to test yourself, but the people around, like, be knowledgeable if the people around you are, are, yeah, either knowingly or unknowingly absorbing the benefit of all that work. But sometimes that's fine. Sometimes the work is that fun. 
It does really lead both to fuck yeah, I'm here, while some intensity being, being like I super don't deserve to be here. Yeah, weird, weird combo of feelings. I guess uh, for me, it's it's not necessarily the deserving aspect because I have witnessed people that have worked far harder than me. Uh, well, maybe I haven't done that. <laughs> I have w witnessed people that have worked as hard as me get get success. I've also seen people work way less hard and be more successful. I think that's what it is. I haven't seen a lot of examples of people burning hotter than I... Well, maybe Alana. She works really hard. Or does a lot, somehow. But, um... And Bruce works really, really hard, too. Okay, never mind. Now, now that I think about it a little bit. Yes, there are examples of people who work far harder than I do. Um, and they have achieved levels of success beyond what I have, I think, if you if you were to like look at it in empirical means. But there's also just tons and tons and tons of examples of people who not only like get to a, a, a ridiculous spot once, just kind of through luck, but it just keeps happening for some reason. Or maybe they have... Maybe they, I shouldn't say it like that. They have some quality that I cannot appraise... Uh, that sort of refutes this notion that, that it's all about the grind. But it is nice to know if, if you maybe don't have that wind at your back, whatever it is, that magical wind. If it, if it graced somebody else and not you, then you can still grind, grind through it. That's kind of what, uh, like, that's what makes Rocky movies so, so appealing, right? He's not a great boxer, but he just works really hard and... Can, can get his ass kicked like nobody else. So sometimes that's that's what life is. Some people will have a high luck roll. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. Just got that stat. Yeah. All the all those factors for sure. Who you know, who your parents knew, where you grew up, who you grew up with, yeah. How many houses they let you inherit. You're right about that. I guess in the middle of all that randomness, that's what makes, at least for my brain, that's what makes imposter syndrome a hard thing to take root. Like, because imposter syndrome implies that there's some, some like, grand justice or, or, uh, reason to the, the chaos of our, our surroundings. And there is, I believe, in, like, localized cause and effect. But beyond that, good God, the X factors of life are so chaotic and, and, and random that to, to think out of that, that, just a mass of, of chaotic explosions out there. That there would be some specific correlation between the value of your person and the, the state of your job. I don't know. Hard for me to wrap my head around. Well, that's just me. Everyone's got different ways of looking at the world. Very few of them are, are wrong. Colts are bad, though. Let's stay away from those. Reasonably, the town guard attempted to set up choke points to mitigate the spread. I'll have to undo their good work to proceed. Okay, I guess I'm going in the right spot. Time and place is incalculably important. Yeah, it is. It's, uh, I mean, all... It, not that it, you know... I've, I've had my share of chance encounters. It's what people say I think is true. Or at least it was true for me that it's, it's a mixture of luck and preparedness. If you're around long enough, you'll get a shot. You know, so the right person will see you. Uh, you'll be in the right place at the right time. But if you didn't spend time preparing, that moment will come and go, and it won't be harnessed, you know? There are so many moments that most people get one or two. And if the time comes and you can tap dance like a pro, well, there it is. Picked up a resonating stone, empowers the staff to break certain barriers, and deals more damage to enemy weak spots. Ah, now I have a magic staff! Oh, I can crack crackly doors. Alright. Luck is preparation meets opportunity. Yeah, that sounds about right. Twenty-five, and I feel like all my chances have passed. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you feel that way. That's a rough feeling to feel. I can promise you it's not- that's not true, but... Uh, I know that that's- like, hearing that is not the same as changing how you feel or what you believe. Okay. 
25 is when it begins. That's kind of what it felt like to me, yeah. That's when I started seeing the effects of my choices have uh, definite results on my life. That's like 25 is when I started to feel some some sense of autonomy and like control. But I was lucky, I think. Uh, I got to get through college pretty smoothly. Had a job offer waiting for me. Was able to get some money in the bank. Have some good work experiences. Uh, oh, this is interesting. Uh, I don't know. It was just less so that I didn't think I deserved it. Because I didn't. More so, it was that I've been honestly told... Or, I've honestly been told my whole life I don't deserve it by a bunch of people who think they deserve it more than me for whatever reason. Yeah, that's horseshit. Ugh. It's so coordinated, too. Like, there's... One asshole being like, you don't deserve this just because. It's like, okay, dude, fuck off. But the fact that multiple people do that shit, and I know they do. I don't understand. I don't understand the memo. Where everyone was like, yeah, we're gonna do this. We're all gonna do this. Say this shitty thing. I guess I'm glad I didn't get it. It would have pissed me off. Screw those people, you deserve it all. Yeah. Especially since, very objectively, there's no way to, to see the situation other other than you worked your ass off for it. And worked worked your ass off specifically through the things that you acknowledge and understand you're not naturally talented at. Which means you have to work extra hard. And to make it about me again, that's honest, That's the thought that sort of like fixes my brain. Gets it, gets it right again, is that uh, what's easy for me is not necessarily easy for everyone. And that's kind of when you know you've found your place, I think. Or it's a good indication that you're somewhere you belong. Ugh. Game's getting wacky. <laughs> Let's be shitty to each other. Yeah, that's that's the that's the memo. Oh, this is a new spell. Cool. seems pretty long. Yeah, I guess I can't really comment on its length. Somebody mentioned that it did, did conclude pretty abruptly. It is early access. So who knows, but I am really loving these big sprawling multi-level environments. Yeah, I, I just really didn't know it was going to be this kind of game, but I'm pretty delighted that it is. What's the story situation like? I've done something bad and because of that, I'm being doomed to this world, territory, realm thing. And I'm trying to find my daughter. My daughter! What time is EDF at? That's in one hour. My daughter. God damn, you monsters, give me back my daughter! And I have a wizard staff, and a sword, and a wrist wrist launcher. All right, I'm doing it. These aren't normal methods of securing a perverse enchantment. It's wait, these aren't normal methods of securing a perverse enchantment. Is binding the paths. The undecaying tribe I've read about is clearly here as well. I should seek out the totems they use to claim dominion. All right. Totems. I guess there's gonna be like little old towers that make the make the bad guys run around. Yowza! That's a lot of dudes. All right, all right, all right. Oh. Hey yo! Oh, oh. <laughs> we're good. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I guess the, uh, the 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 manner in which I can identify with that, and and I hope I, you know, I hope you do take pride in that about grinding your way through it and working your way through it. Uh, I don't know. I I had an aptitude for engineering and math, and then I went to computer science. So I, I think that was a, that was a natural fit. 
And and when I got into my like third and fourth year and it was all sort of higher level computer work, it was it was a breeze. That was another moment where I felt like this is weird. This is too easy. Uh and I mean those were great times though cuz it was also the other the only other time in my life where I thought I was actually getting a break. Uh cuz even though I was I was working I was working a, a part-time job and taking a full course load. The course load was still pretty simple. I'm worried about those. Oh, there was another one, and I don't remember where it is. But all the courses were pretty in tune with just what I already knew and liked to do, so they flew by pretty easily. But once I graduated and got a got a job in development, I was like, okay, now nah, I need to mix this up. I'm gonna try to be a video game writer, and that was like, yeah, that was grinding into a that was a slog. That was a lot of work. Okay, so there's a treasure chest there. Man, I'm probably gonna forget that. It'd be nice to be able to put pins in the map. Maybe I need to write down my own notes. Maybe. Maybe it's that kind of game. Spooky tree. Ow! Juarez Gorgeous, thanks for gifting a couple of subs. I appreciate that. But yes. Fuck the haters, chat. Fuck the haters in their b-holes. You can do whatever you want, as long as you work hard. And I guess have somewhat reasonable expectations? I don't know. Burn the tree? Like the big one? I don't know. I don't think much is going to happen with that. Here, I'll try it. No bueno, unfortunately. Everyone goes through things differently. We all suffer and experience life differently. Yeah. dilemma. Some of the melee is getting a little spicy. <laughs> Burning trees for THC Tuesday? Exactly. Oh, dang it. Yeah, here we are. This is the time. So... That's weird. Okay, there we go. Ah. Uh, well, I remember where one of them is. You know, like the sword that was sticking into the ground. Oh, that's a good... Yeah, that does have Dark Souls vibes, doesn't it? There's a bonfire for sure. There it is, bonfire lit. Yep. I was like, some... That's weird, because I was staring at it. I was like, boy, this looks familiar. There's something about this. I guess if you really wanted to, and this is not quite a comparison I'd be I'd be ready to accept. But there are there are some there are some shards here that are in common with Kingsfield or even like Demon Souls. Well, maybe more like a Dark Souls. An interconnected labyrinthine world. Yeah. I don't know why it turns you when you step on something. That's a, that's a bit strange. It is dark. It's so dark. This fantasy is so crazy dark, you don't even know. There's corpses and plagues and stuff. What would you have done if this platform wasn't available and you were stuck in the IG grind? You mean like inside gaming? Writing scripts and stuff? That's not so bad. I mean, I think the issue there would be... Like, who's... Who's... Who owns the show and how much would they pay for writing? Um, because 
no one would pay me. Like, unless you're on camera and a recognized piece of talent and, like, willing to haggle and, and threaten to leave to get paid well, that's the thing. I don't think if I were still working on Inside Gaming, they would ever give me meaningful raises. Either either company that I made that show for, because no one respects no one respects writing. They think anyone can do it, uh, because anyone thinks they can do it. So it's kind of a weird weird back and forth there. Uh oh, I need an item. So yeah, uh, I probably I'd probably be writing scripts and getting paid very very little. Uh, but I, I there's a there's a decent chance I could be okay with that. Um, it would just preclude me from having a certain amount of travel and life experiences. This way, though, I get to do this and still do that work because I enjoy it, but I make enough money streaming that I still get to enjoy life a little bit. That's really nice. I freelance wrote a couple of magazines a while back, and yeah, people equate knows English to can write. They sure do! They sure do, pilot person. I mean, that was that it, that was a thing in written games media for the longest time. Uh, and I I make I'm saying that specific saying that specifically because because uh, that's how I sort of ground my way into the scene, I guess. But yeah, I worked with a lot of writers that merely because they sometimes followed the basic rules of the English language considered themselves writers, but like. I'm, I'm not trying to be an asshole about it. The reason I'm saying that, because, like, you can be a writer and not be 100% proficient. I don't care. But the, the point I'm trying to make about that is that they didn't consider the writing part of it to be an, an interesting or important skill. It was an afterthought uh, to justify all the other things. To justify getting a free game or to justify going to E3. It was the annoying thing you did. Yeah. The annoying thing you did to, to kind of... I guess, get your name out there or be a part of the discussion or whatever. So, I got very tired of that because I cared about the writing part of it. Um, and it's still kind of a shame to see because that stuff still happens. Uh, it, it sucks, man. Trying to be a games writer sucks. Sucks, 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 sucks. If, if you like ever have a beef with a games media person, consider that they're probably like maybe younger and hyper underpaid and probably did not necessarily have the strictest requirements to get the job what would you define as key aspects to being a writer I, I mean that's I think you have to care about the quality of the, the writing you're putting out and care about the message you're sending and care about the audience that's going to read it those are, those are factors I would say specifically in games media didn't exist um, with a lot of the writers I worked with. Not all. There was definitely some good eggs. I need to find those notes again. There was... Let's see here. There was one that was down here. I, here. It was here. But there was another one that was just somewhere and I really should have paid more attention to the map. Uh, but apart from that, I think it, I think it depends on the kind of writing. I did contract writing, like, copy for websites that I wouldn't say I invested my heart and soul into. But I knew that the point of the writing was to, uh, to, like, piggyback off of Google searches. So, no one was going to read that copy anyway. And if they did, I tried my best to include the information that that Google search was probably going to land on that page for. But that was definitely, like, a job where I was getting paid to generate words, not paid to, to impart a greater meaning. But I think if you're doing games media, and if you care about games, that ought to be a factor. Although increasingly it seems like it is not. And that may not be the choice of the writer, either. That's probably more a business-driven thing. It doesn't matter what an article says, it only matters that it has certain terms in it. And it's from a website that is indexed pretty highly on click-throughs from like Google Now or other, or like Reddit or other indexing things. Yeah, care about your work. I'd say that's probably what a, a good summary. Uh, is there fall damage in this game? I want to try to find out. Can I save? I can save and quit. Ah. Because, yeah, it's like... You can die and start over, right? They said your inventory persists. Hmm. Because of your passion for writing, you two will take a similar path to former video game reviewer, now re renowned and respected comics writer Kieran Gillen. 
What is that? What is that path? Uh, Full Metal Wolf, thank you for the prime. Yeah, I have no idea where I'm going to end up. Uh, but right now, I am really enjoying sort of taking the baby steps towards scaling up a, a games media thing. I don't know where I'm going. I'm just walking in circles. Am I sleeping? No. The journey is what matters most. You know what? I agree. I'm at a point now where I can enjoy the journey. I, th I thought for a long time I had to to grind myself to a place where the journey would be more suited to me. I think maybe I got there. At least for me. A widely respected writer in comics. Okay. Started his writing career writing articles for PC Gamer, I think. PC Reviewer. PC Gaming Magazine. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I think if you're I think if you're a writer, certainly you can apply that trade in a lot of different circumstances, and a successful writer will be able to adapt that craft uh, to the needs of the outlet or the whoever's purchasing the writing or for whatever audience it's for. That's a lot of uh that is that particular aspect is also something I didn't quite see in a lot of uh, a lot of the writing I didn't wasn't super fond of. I see a lot of that now too, but whatever. Um it's Oh. Wait a minute. This is how I got here. Yeah. Yes, and then that just connects through to that. Well, whatever. I mean, that was one of the things that I... I going back to, like, when I... In the early days of PC Gamer. Oh. I can't even find my way back to the... Let's see here. It was here. So... Oh, man. Actually, wait. I've been over here. Unless the door's shut. Or it's another zone. Oh, man. But that was, uh... There was, there was a certain refinement to the writing. It, uh... It definitely... Like, Nintendo Power was a magazine written for... For, like, teens, you know? That was, that was the target demo. Okay, I guess that's a shortcut to get back. But PC Gamer was definitely, uh... For adults. And I did enjoy reading writing that was intended for adults. What would be the best place for one to start or try to get into writing? Anywhere on the internet. There's there's not a bad place to start writing, I guess. Uh, there's newsletter out or there's like newsletter services now that offer subscriptions and stuff. You could try that. Uh, you could just start posting short stories on social media. Just like write in a write in a public Google Doc and post the link. Um, and now, if you want to get paid for writing, that's a, that's another story altogether. And, and I have to admit, I'm not quite clued into how to do that. Write an SCP? Yeah, there you go. That's a good idea. Man, this music. Ugh. Okay, I fully. Like I'm just kind of all turned around now. I don't know where I'm going. I'll go this way. Sometimes I like to think about famous people get bigger breaks later in life. It gives me confidence that even if I'm older, I can still find something that makes me happy. Something that I feel like I've done something of worth. Yes, you can. There's no time limit on any of that, ever. Oh my god, where do I go? Uh, I don't remember how to get back to the, like, puzzle now. Like there is where I need to go. Okay, I'll go through smoke tunnel. Yeah, walking around intensifies. This is very dramatic walking around, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I. I don't know that I could could or even would write comics or something like that. I feel like comics are also a, a passion industry where you probably don't get paid much and you just have people shit on you all day. Oh Christ, there it is, okay. So why are there two? That's what's concerning to me. Like anime even. 
And that's the other aspect about written games media. Kind of same deal is that I'm taking a photo of this. Is that uh, you? If you don't go out there with a hot opinion, no one gives a shit. Uh, if you go out there with a hot opinion, people send you death threats. All in the meanwhile, you're not getting paid anything. So it's it's tough. I think I think like decreasing decreasing value. A decreasing valuation of the writing and the writing itself has kind of led to this downward spiral where outlets pay less and less for the job. Audiences get more and more toxic. But there's still this, like, there's still this belief in the, the importance and respectability of outlets, even though they've cycled through staffs hundreds of times and continue to lay people off and hire younger and younger and less and less experienced. Or I think it's more that, like, there's such a long, long line of people waiting to do those jobs that the second you ask for more money, they just say no. And if you leave, then somebody else will happily step into your spot, crank out 10 more blogs a day, saying whatever click, clickbait terms you want, and be making themselves okay with a shittier and shittier pay. So I feel like I have to get over here. More money fired? I see it more as more money laughter. So that door doesn't open, I don't think. But this was a this was a clue as well. Maybe with maybe between the two clues, I'll be able to solve the mysteries of the pylons. Those two red hanging weights there at the door. Eh? Uh, I will go back and check that in just a second. Let me let me head up this other treasure map before I forget where I am. Kotaku called this game boring. Well, the writer at Kotaku called it boring, and I could that 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 person was correct. They probably think it's boring, and I I I could see a significant I could see people agreeing with that. This isn't really a game that I would out and out recommend to people. Ow. Okay, there is fall damage. I swear to God, it was in this house. Okay, here we go. like zombie chunks on the ground. Here we go. Yeah, that... Mm, uh, I don't know what this means and I'm scared. Opinion is an opinion. There's always somebody who will hate something no matter how good it is. Keep in mind that it can include, can include reviewers. Yeah, I... My whole thing with that is like, a review ought to be able to do two things in equal measure. It ought to be able to recommend a game to somebody where the reviewer didn't like it. Like, I didn't care for it, but, it, but I want to make sure that the right people find this game and be able to elocute to the people who would like it why they should why they would like it and and because of that they can make the decision that's like that's like ideal scenario number one i think ideal scenario number two is to uh to read a review of somebody who makes a case for a game and even though they liked it they give you the information you know you need to know that you wouldn't like it um instead of saying this game is good saying like these are the things this game does well and then you can figure it out from there all right, let me see here. I'm I'm curious about how this. I th I have a theory, because it's like two symbols, and I think you just combine them to make the the one that actually. Oh, that's the one. Okay. So if I were to combine these two symbols, it's two vertical lines and a diamond. So it'd be that, and then two dots and a line surrounding it. A line and two dots surrounding it. That is. Wait a minute. We zoom in. Zoom in. Enhance. Yep, that looks right. And then square and two dots on the bottom. Two dots. That ought to be it, right? Are those the right kind of dots? Yeah. There wasn't a sting of music. These columns did not sink into the ground and triumphantly herald my giant brain. My solving of this impossible riddle. Huh, that sucks. I guess I kind of hoped it would just do something. Um, 
damn it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let me think about this. So, the... Hmm, there's perspective on these. So maybe you have to put that... The design thing on the side that is angled away. Which means I would probably need to find a third cipher. Because it could be... Well, let's see. It's two lines on that side, and then... Diamond on the other side. That matches that. Alright. We'll go with this one, then. Alright, there's, so there's a squiggle line on the right. And then... Dang it. But that doesn't make sense. Oh. Uh, there is a... There's like an indicator at the top. Ah, there's a key up there. Okay. Yeah, I think there's like a third third one I might need to find, but maybe I can maybe you can suss it out from these. Okay, line and two dots and then two dots on that side. A square on that side. Oh, yes! Hot puzz! Hot puzzin'. Got a turtle key. It's gonna open a door for me. Let yourself in and be home wherever that may be. Is that the one that's under... underwater? Hot cousin? No! Hot puzzin! Damn it! Hot puzzle! That's a verb, I'm hot puzzin! That's it? There's just- <laughs> Yeah, it was a skelly room! They were all just hanging out there. Just chillin', clanking, clanking around like skellies. Okay, there- uh, I don't remember where that goes. Oh boy, what a nostalgic feeling though. Getting a key being like, ah oh, shit. I think I saw where that went like 20 minutes ago. I played any of Dreamcast on S Steam? Yeah? Dreamcast on Steam. Dreamcast on Steam. Dreamcast on Steam. Do you mean like ports of Dreamcast games? Stream. Aha. Ah. Yes, I have indeed. Actually, I've been- I did play Jet Set Radio Future a bit ago. I need to- need to dust that back off. Uh, I think that's a door that's locked, so I'm gonna go check that out. Oh, yeah, this is the other door that's locked. Yes! 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 Dreamcast is real cozy. Dreamcast has- has infinite good vibes. Looks like a big ass elevator. Oh, where are we going? I unlock a Dark Souls door. Played Shenmue. That's true. Yes. Uh, I think about the Dreamcast games. I played Crazy Taxi a little bit. I never actually played through all of Code Veronica, so maybe I should go back and fix my shame. EDF timetable, gonna be away for a bit. Uh, 30 minutes from now, which uh, I actually should take a break. Let the old let the old windpipes cool off for a bit, have a snack, get ready. I wanna make sure I'm bright and shiny when it comes time to defend the earth. And I gotta review my, uh, calls to action. And my 
featured talking points. Luckily, the talking points are really easy. It's like, there's a lot of guns! Yay! Shoot the aliens! Yay! Do you agree that Red Dead 2 is the Shenmue of modern open world games, not counting Shenmue 3? I would agree with that, yeah. Actually, Death Stranding might be a little more... A little more, like, down that path. But, uh, I guess pun walking pun intended there. But yeah, I think that's a, that's a pretty shrewd observation. I think it, I think it was pretty courageous of Rockstar Games to put out a game like Red Dead 2. That's so slow and atmospheric and... It's still got a bit of that gonk factor, uh, but it's, it's nothing like how ridiculous Grand Theft Auto is. Maybe a little bit. But it is much more of like the PBS miniseries to Grand Theft Auto's National Lampoon sensibilities. I have two health. Yeah, because those modern Shenmue. It's not. They're actually not that similar. I don't know. People make that comparison and it's just... I don't find really any, like, merit to that. But that's just me. I don't think they're trying to create even... Maybe, like, there's some shit, some, like, crossover in the experience they intend to create. But, they never felt, they never felt the same to me. Shenmue's trying to be, like, a world simulator. Yakuza yeah, just has sequences where you can walk around. What the heck? Oh! You can't hit it! Maybe I have to use my flame magic, or maybe I don't have the ability to mess with these guys yet. Oh, there it goes. Okay, yeah, that's exactly what you need to do. That's neat. Anyway, sorry, I'm, uh... I didn't mean to be so, so, uh, derisive. I guess they both have walking around in Japan modes. <laughs> Even specifically walking around in Japan in the 80s modes. So there aren't many games that have that in common. So comparing the two is inevitable. I also need to remember sometimes I'm at a like maybe a maybe a pre pretentiously specific level of of game shit. What seems really different to me may not seem that different to anyone else, in the sense that like I don't know, like maybe a. A foodophile could tell the difference between multiple times, kinds of ketchup and be just a gas that you would compare cats up and ketchup. <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, does anyone think we'll get Mass Effect 5 at E3 or EA conference? I doubt it. Um, I'm gonna lose my shit if it's another fucking dev sizzle reel of like inspirational string music set to like people of color sitting at desks scribbling out concept art. Good god, is another year gonna go by and that's all Bior has? And, like, footage of people wearing N7 hoodies walking around. Uh, I shouldn't be cynical. I shouldn't be cynical. It's not like they owe me shit, you know? They, they've made some great games. Seems more like we'll get Dragon Age 4 than Mass Effect 5. Yeah, Dread Wolf Rises, right? That's still a thing? I got teased years ago. Actually, wait, yeah, this is 2018, I think? So maybe, maybe it wasn't that dramatic. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just trying to make sense of the area I'm in right now. Am I beginning a KOTOR remake? I guess. Is it really that hard to play KOTOR? Maybe it is. That actually came out... That came out in a pretty quirky era of PC games. And, you know, not to mention consoles. Can you... Is KOTOR backward compatible on Xbox? already announced they're doing a new Mass Effect and Dragon Age. Yes, they have. They sure have. The two things the people want. Hmm. Well, I mentioned it because the Legendary Edition and the Renewed Interest, I guess. I wouldn't call it Renewed Interest. It seems to me like the exact same people who liked Mass Effect in the past played, re like, Remastered Edition. Here's an interesting uh, question. 
that anyone that didn't like Mass Effect play the remastered edition and now really likes Mass Effect and is excited for another Mass Effect game. Oh, key! That would be a fascinating, uh, that would be a fascinating thing. Maybe, again, in my cynicism, I assume that Mass Effect is, is, has, has faded into nostalgia territory, but maybe not. Okay, it was the other door. The other door... It was here, I think. Yeah, I can, like, unlock the one that's up top now. Oh, I have to take a break. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna see what's on the other side of this door. It might be something really cool. Open the Dead Space successor is solid? Yeah! The, like... Is it, like, in the EVE universe? No, it's in, it's in like, the PUBG universe? I think it's in something. I think it's in the PUBG universe. It's like the... the Calypso experiment or something like that. I'm, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. It's in the PUBG universe? I think so, yeah. I'm pretty sure. Callisto Protocol, that's it, thank you. Yeah, look it up! It's awesome. It's the Dead Space director basically making a space horror action game. I don't know anything about the PUBG universe, but whatever. I don't have to. Is it spooky? <laughs> PUBG is still some of the largest battle royale now due to player count due to China? Really? I thought it was Fortnite. I thought it was Fortnite easily, but maybe that's just U.S. territory. Yeah, I don't know. Typical Americans thinking they're the center of everything. What if they announce Mass Effect cross Fortnite? Well, I mean... That'll appeal to somebody. Oh, cool! I didn't know there was this <laughs> alt fire. What does this do? Ooh, sniper mode. Cool. Just announcing Skyrim on the new gens. Yeah. <laughs> We're pleased to announce Skyrim on Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5. <laughs> and it looks exactly the same. It runs at 720p. Still broken and buggy. Everyone's like, yay! I love Skyrim. I can't wait to play Skyrim again. People do love Skyrim, don't they? What a. What a crowd pleaser. Uh, man, I feel like I'm close to something cool. And I want to see what it is. Maybe like a, a new kind of wizard staff. An upgrade to my staff. Maybe another gem for my staff. Or I'm just going right back to the beginning. Oh wait, what is this? What is what is that? That seems important. Peat burner. Uh, it didn't auto auto equip it. What does a peat burner do? Oh, okay. Heavy explosive weapon ignites and launches peat, which can stick to sir. Okay, it's a sticky bomb launcher. Shh. Rad. Worth it. I'm glad my, my video game senses directed me properly. All right, now give me big clumps of squishy dudes to blow up, turn them into red chunks. Yeah, the cloud maker, <laughs> the enemy vaporizer. Seems like an important door. No, no, I need another key. Row, row, row. This is a 
shortcut door. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember where this is now. Ah, shimmy shucks. That means, does that mean the skull key's back that way? It's meant to represent like tripping on something. Oh, this is a tough one. Oh, huh. I guess this does fire damage. Maybe that's just it. That's weird. Why would they? Oh, I guess there's health down here. I haven't been here yet, have I? No, good. Okay. Okay, I need to... I think I need to step away from the stream for just a bit. Another bigger key! Man, this game rules. Key Quest 2021. Key Finder Extreme. Key Simulator. Ah! Well, I gotta admit, uh, I am pleasantly surprised by this game. It's been a long time since I've played a game that, that like, their entire vibe is just wandering around, kind of spooky, spooky, like, 90s video game ar arenas. I'm into it. I'm into it a lot. I will come back to this, I think. Maybe if not on stream, just on my own. And, like, the combat isn't super taxing, really. Uh, I only went down once, and I haven't really been trying that hard. Uh, this seems like it'd be pretty easy to play on a controller, and you can engage enemies from pretty far away. The sword is pretty OP. It seems like the enemies are just kind of there, so you have you have something fun to kind of chop chomp at while you're uh, while you're exploring around for them keys, them sweet sweet keys. Couldn't do those MLG Pro uh, demon bird snipes, but. Yeah, it seems like a fun game to just kind of take it easy and cr cruise around in, as long as you're okay with getting lost. Or being bored. But you know what? I am. But that's neat! I have no idea, uh, you know, it is an early access title, so I don't know how much co game content is there. So I, I certainly couldn't vouch for its, uh, the amount of content you get for the purchase price, but... I have enjoyed what I've played yet again. Let me disclose. <laughs> what? Journal updated. Oh. Those are the totems. Okay. With the totems meeting their deserving end, the stranglehold in this square relents. I should explore and see what has opened up. I need to destroy any and all totems I encounter in the future. Oh! Those were the doors! Yes! The flamey doors! Now they're all open! Interesting! That is- that is some- some- oh, That is some very hexen stuff. A door has opened somewhere. Yeah, thanks. Okay, so now you run back through the level and see all the- Try to find all the keys. But now there's like shortcuts that have opened up? Okay. Alright, I get it. That's cool. That's cool. This is a big level. Alright, I gotta- I gotta take a break. Uh, I'll be back in about 20 minutes with Bruce, Omar, and Jacob, and we'll be playing Earth Defense Force World Brothers, the voxel-styled offshoot of Earth Defense Force. It is a canon alternate dimension. So keep that in mind. All right, I'll be back in 20 minutes with, uh, with today's sponsored game. I'll see you guys then. <laughs>